Sarah, thank you. The war in Israel is in its fourth day and has already claimed more than 1,800 lives on both sides of the conflict. The Israeli military says they have a stronghold on one village that was attacked by Hamas terrorists. Scores of residents in Faraza were killed or taken hostage in Saturday's surprise attack. Officials are preparing to begin identifying the victims. And today, President Biden reaffirmed America's support for Israel. Let there be no doubt. The United States has Israel's back. We will make sure the Jewish and democratic state of Israel can defend itself today, tomorrow, as we always have. It's as simple as that. These atrocities have been sickening. The Biden administration says they will also work with allies and partners around the world to support Israel. And our local delegation in Congress has also pledged their support for Israel. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us now live in studio with what Senator Jack Reed has to say. Alex. Mike Shannon, Senator Jack Reed told us today that he believes strong international support for Israel will lead to a speedy end to the conflict between the Israelis and Palestinians. However, not everyone feels the same way. In United States politicians have blood on their hand. Satya Mahapatra has been fighting for years, calling for the freedom of Palestine. Not in our name. Don't, don't write a uh, check. Don't send those uh, weapons. But local, state and federal leaders overwhelmingly support Israel. I want to say loud and clear tonight, Rhode Island stands with the people of Israel and condemns these terrorist attacks by Hamas. Senator Jack Reed, who is the current chairman of the Armed Services Committee, says the U.S. has already taken appropriate action after what he calls a severe and unprecedented attack this weekend. Uh, we've moved a carrier battle group into place to support the Israelis, but that's a support mission. We're not actively engaged. They're also moving equipment to a central command post to provide intelligence and ammunition and to be ready to react in case of an escalation. I, I hope and I think we all pray that uh, all these innocent hostages are released without being harmed. However, Reed knows more needs to be done. In the long run, uh, there has to be some type of political solution uh, involving the Palestinians so that they, they also have an opportunity to uh, live securely. It's a very complicated situation. and It'll get more complicated, but frankly, in my experience with the Mideast is everything is complicated over there. Flags will be flown at half-staff here in Rhode Island through Saturday in honor of the lives lost in Israel. Reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. Turning now to Israel at war following Hamas's surprise terrorist attack over the weekend. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says at least 20 U.S. citizens are still unaccounted for. This afternoon, President Joe Biden said they've confirmed at least 14 Americans were killed in the attack, and they've also confirmed Americans are among the hostages being held by Hamas. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will leave for Israel tomorrow to show solidarity and support. Meantime, the State Department says they are working to help other Americans who are trying to leave Israel. Currently, it may be that there aren't enough available flights because some carriers have sus have suspended travel. Um, as I said, we have been in discussions with carriers urging them to consider whether they want to resume travel. There are still flights that are making it out of, of Israel. The State Department says people in Israel can also contact the U.S. Embassy if they need help finding a way out of the country. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez continues our team coverage with what Rhode Island's senior senator is saying about the conflict. Alex? Shannon, Mike, Senator Jack Reed told us today that he believes strong international support for Israel will lead to a speedy end to the conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. However, not everyone feels the same way. In United States politicians have blood on their hand. Satya Mahapatra has been fighting for years, calling for the freedom of Palestine. Palestine will be free. This weekend, he was a part of the nearly 100 people who rallied in downtown Providence protesting the ongoing support of Israel. But local, state, and federal leaders overwhelmingly support Israel. I want to say loud and clear tonight, Rhode Island stands with the people of Israel and condemns these terrorist attacks 
by Hamas. Senator Jack Reed, who is the current chairman of the Armed Services Committee, says the U.S. has already taken appropriate action after what he calls a severe and unprecedented attack this weekend. Uh, we've moved a carrier battle group into place to support the Israelis, but that's a support mission. We're not actively engaged. They're also moving equipment to a central command post to provide intelligence and ammunition and to be ready to react in case of an escalation. I, I hope and I think we all pray that uh, all these innocent hostages are released without being harmed. However, Reed knows more needs to be done. In the long run, uh, there has to be some type of political solution uh, involving the Palestinians so that they, they also have an opportunity to uh, live securely. It's a very complicated situation and it'll get more complicated, but frankly, in my experience with the Mideast is everything is complicated over there. And flags will be flown at half staff here in Rhode Island through Saturday in honor of the lives lost in Israel. Reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.